There's a dozen or so real nice little fishing holes along Marsh Creek. And lots of logs to cross over. This isn't easy. So today I'm using a weedless, weightless tube jig. See if we catch something. Well, I finally got out of that. It's like quicksand. I actually went all the way up to my hips. Top of the hip boots. Got stuck. I guess that's why they have a log across here. Stupid me. I'm not about to walk across this tundra and sink in anymore. Hey, I've never been here. I'm just exploring. Following Marsh Creek upstream. There's got to be a trail here somewhere. Big blue heron. So I'm thinking this blue heron has a nest over here. Looks like a lot of reeds and sticks and branches. It's not moving. It's going to stay right there and protect its nest. Time to move on upstream. Well, something's been chewing the heck out of the base of these trees. Could be a beaver. Looks like teeth marks. Two of them. Look at that one. It's got a lot of debris around it already. This is some pretty deep water here. Let's come back when it's a little bit warmer. I could use some live bait. This is the water coming out of the dam. Out of the dam. I can barely stand the water's blowing me so hard. I gotta walk all the way back to my car. But heck, it was a pretty cool trip upstream. Easily sleep under here. <laughs> well, the gate is locked. No one's here. I didn't expect anybody to be here. I had to stop by the lake since I followed the stream upstream to the dam. As you can see, the water level's been dropped considerably, exposing the rocky shorelines. Well, for some reason, they have Chalfont Road closed off. It's gated. Can't get to the lake that way. Let's try the other side. striking out, I thought I'd get a boat launch permit. It's closed. It's nice to see some 
Z-Vape products in the vending machine. That's what I'm using today. Well, that's it. Gonna call it a day. Hey, if you like my video, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.